Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze a simply supported beam with a varying distributed load on the beam. You see here, there is a kind of trapezoidal load acting on the beam, which increases from 2 kN per meter to 4 kN per meter. And the total length of the beam is given, it is 8 meter. So we are going to analyze this beam and finding out first of all the support reactions so how to do this we will go step by step into analysis of this beam we will first of all divide this loading of the beam into two parts i will make it very easy so i will call this first part is a rectangle beam you see here the rectangular load so this will be my first part of the beam my first loading on the beam and then we will have a second part you see here a triangle so this will be a second part of the loading on the beam. Now, first of all, we will find the area of this rectangle A1 and then we'll find out the area of this rectangle of triangle, sorry, A2. Because first of all, we have to find out the total load acting on this beam and it is a trapezoidal load, which is not easy to find out. So this, follow this method, it's very really easy and simple. So first of all, how to find out the total load on the beam? So we'll find A1 area area of A1 is the load of this rectangular load on the beam which is rectangular means length into height which means length is 8 meter multiplying with the height height is 2 kN per meter you see here it starts from 2 and we it's go till to the end so 2 we got here 16 kN is the load from the rectangular part A2 is the load from the triangular part so area will be A half based into height because it is a triangle so half base is 8 meter multiplying with the height. Now what is the height of this triangle? Keep in mind it started from 2. So 2 and 4. So it means if there is a triangle starting from 2 to 4. So what we have? We have 2 height. So that's why the height is 2 here. So it will give us 8 kN. So now we have the total load on the beam. What will be the total load on the beam? A there will be equal to the A1 plus A2 so now A1 is 16 plus A2 is 8 so we got 24 kilonewton is the total load acting on this beam so we will put somewhere 24 kilonewton is the total load appointed load acting on this beam the next step is we have to find out the distance from one support to another support to another load so for example here i call it x bar and now we are interested to find out this x bar value centroid of this load is very important because later on we will use moment equation for this load so x bar the centroid of this load will be equal to the summation of x i into f i divided by summation of f i now what are these factors so x i basically the centroid of each portion or each shape so in this case we have two shapes x1 will be the rectangle so you see here if i draw it here let's suppose so we have two shape one is rectangle with eight meter distance so the centroid will be exactly at the centroid here so it will be eight divided by two so it will be 4 meter. So x1 will be 8 divided by 2, which will be 4 meter. It's the centroid of this load. Centroid, I mean, of this rectangle. And now, what will be the centroid of the triangle? Because we also have one object is the rectangle and the other is the triangle. So for the second object, if I remove this thing, so we will have a triangle. In the case of triangle, if this is the length, then the centroid always lies here a two third of L. If this is L, so it is two third of L. So in our case, L is eight meter. So in our case, X2 will be two third of eight meter. And here we will get some value which will be equal to the 5.33 meter. So it is the this is the centroid of the second object. So this is x2. Now if if i if i means f1, which is basically a1, 
which is 16 and F2 is basically A2, the area or the load acting on the second object which is 8. So now we know all the things, we just put this value into this equation. So now let me remove these things. So we will put this value into this equation here. So it will become x bar will become here x1 into f1 plus x2 into f2 divided by f1 plus f2. Now x1 is known to us 4 meter, f1 is known to us 16 kilonewton. So 4 into 16 plus x2 is 5.33, f2 is 8. Dividing by f1 plus f2, f1 is known to us 16, f2 is 8, 16 plus 8. So now by taking this all into calculator, we will get a value of 4.4. 4, 4 meter so it means this value is equal to the 4.44 meter so now i find out the most important value and now i will find a moment equation to find out the moment at any support so now let's suppose taking moment at any point equal to zero and we take it at point a the summation of moment here at this point equal to zero so now let's suppose the clockwise moment is positive and then the clockwise moment is negative so taking all the forces that create the moment about point A. So what are these forces? So one is this force 24 kilonewton that create the moment in this direction in a clockwise about point A. So it will be positive. So moment is equal to the force into momentum. So in this case force is 24 kilonewton you see here multiplying with the momentum which is 4.44. So now you understand why I find out this value because I needed to find the moment and what are the other forces that create the moment about point a and this will be this reaction rb we take it upward because we know that this load will be supported by ra and rb so this rb is acting in upward direction and it will create the moment in anti-clockwise direction about point a so it will be negative because it was a, our assumption so minus rb multiplying with the moment arm is the distance from b point up to a which is 8 meter Summation of all the moments about point A equal to zero, and simply we will shift this value to the right side, and we will find out R B simply by using the calculator, and it comes out to be here. If you look to the calculator, it is thirteen point three two kilonewton. So here is thirteen point three two kilonewton. Now, how to find R A here? We know that it will also act in upward direction because the load is to be supported by two support reactions so let's suppose summation of vertical force is equal to zero and let's suppose upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative so now upward forces are r a here r a is acting upward and r b is acting in upward direction so r a plus r b but minus because 24 is acting downward it is the load of this whole shape it was 24 equal to zero all forces equal to zero now r b is known to us which is 13.32 so r e will it comes out to be 24 minus 13.32 so we will get r a equal to around 10.68 kilonewton this is r a acting here at this point r a equal to 10.68 kilonewton acting in upper direction so this is the simplest way to find out the support reactions are analyzing the beam with the trapezoidal or non-uniform load acting on the beam. Hope you guys understand and please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also put your comments if you have any comments so I will answer accordingly. Thank you once again.